Did the enemy reveal our positions? They've been exposed for a long time. Last time we came in, we terrorized them a little bit. And now they're hitting us back. It's either a machine gun or a grenade launcher. The drone was launched. The drone saw it, that a column of five to six people was moving, dugouts, positions, the trenches. The drone was still flying. Ours? I don't know. There are a lot of neighbors here. And sometimes they just don't warn you. Something is flying, and it's unknown whose it is. I think our guys are shooting. Are those ours? No, it's not ours. These are not ours. A little bit of it gets in here. Look, their drone is flying. No, it's probably ours. I hope so. No, I mean, that's ours. That's ours. This is the worst part, to sit under fire. These are the light ones. You know, just sitting there, there's nothing you can do. You're not going to do anything. If it comes, it will come. You don't know where it's coming from. You just hope that it's a miss. You can never underestimate your opponent. Yes, no need to think that the enemy will not come to you. You have to think about what you're going to meet him with. Yes, of course, this is a Belgian MG1M machine gun. The same PKM machine gun, only Belgian. This came as standard. Plastic stock, much lighter. It's a pistol grip. The barrel itself. We bought a thermal imaging scope. The barrel is corrugated. These are also stiffeners. That is, the relief acts as stiffeners and cooling. Why couldn't this be done on a PKM? You see, it's a completely different approach to the war. You're creating a firewall to make things explode. The land is scorched. And there, it hit the tank and that was it. So these are different approaches, Soviet and NATO approaches. Calm down. Now I see what's going on there. We're going to shoot a 60 caliber there. More precisely, I hope. Better come here too. Was that a grenade launcher? Yes. Does that mean they're here somewhere? Yes. That's a lot. Where? Near Fugas. I was actually standing here when it exploded. Who was hiding in that hole? It exploded here, right in the air. It hit my ears hard. He says I like it when people are running around, fussing. The most important thing is not to be afraid. Everyone's safe, everyone's on the alert. I'm here to make sure that everything was fine. It's okay. Come on, go in there, inside. We're going to climb up here a little bit. The bastards are pissed. They're shooting with an underbarrel weapon. It reaches us. Right, left. Someone was shooting from here, from the sound of it, or from there, and it was.
I'll open fire. They will fall right away, and I'm going to shoot at the targets that are lying down. They don't attack because they are afraid. A rug is the most necessary thing in war. Will there be shells coming now? No, it's a machine gun. It's a machine gun, I know. Go to sleep. Shots fired. We got into the war. Look, the pheasant is standing. You see that on the right? Can you see it? No. Oh, yeah, I see it. This pheasant was a bird. It got to the war. It became a soldier. Oh, the pheasant has flown away. Okay, bye. A bird drone in the air. <laughs> Whose bird is that? <laughs> it's a 60 caliber. Ours, ours. <laughs> So, what are your plans after the war? <laughs> after the war, I wanted to go to the mountains. Or go to a house somewhere by the lake. Where there is no one, to be there a little bit. It's like I tell my wife, the war will end. We'll come here. Somewhere in the grove. You will storm it with your wife, first the assault, then we'll set up a tent, make a barbecue. I'm thinking, for the first month, I'll be sitting by the window looking out. 